Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. And this is a patient with a recent injury and knee pain. They had several findings that would explain the pain. The most significant one seemed to be this complex tear, the lateral meniscus, and went all the way through the posterior horn and meniscus body. And they had some other findings, but they also had a curious collection of fluid in the calf, and that's why I'm doing this video. So back here, if we go posteriorly, this is a fat uh, suppressed post, uh, PD sequence, and we can see this longitudinal fluid collection here dissecting. It starts laterally, it looks like, and goes obliquely medially. And it goes all the way down off the field of view into the calf. So kind of a funny fluid collection. If we look here more medial, we can see a little uh, Baker cyst, fluid in the gastrocnemius semimembranosus bursa here. We want to put up our axials just to make sure this is not just a simple ruptured popliteal cyst with fluid dissecting downward. Here we are above the knee joint. You can see this fluid in the gastrocnemius semimembranosus bursa. This is the semimembranosus. Comes over here to the posterior medial tibia. And then here's the gastrocnemius medial head. Gastronomia semimembranosus bursa. It looks pretty well contained. It doesn't look like it's ruptured. I definitely don't see that fluid collection going down to explain this other one. So if we look for the other fluid collection, we see it over here. Looks like it's almost more lateral on this view. And if we go downward, downward, here's the fluid collection. We're going to keep going down, down, down. And now we can see it between the medial gastronomius and soleus on down here. So anytime we see fluid in this funny location like this without obvious other findings to explain it, Think about a plantaris muscle tear, and I believe that's what this patient has, at least a partial tear. So the plantaris muscle is very small. It comes off the lateral femoral condyle here, right adjacent to the lateral gastrocnemius, and it's really hard to see uh, because it just blends right with the uh, uh, other muscle, and you just really can't see it very well. And unless it's torn, then you may see some signal changes, and then it comes down obliquely medially. The muscle is really short. It ends just below the knee joint, and it turns into a tendon, and the tendon goes down into the calf. And we're going to try to find that tendon. And when it's outlined by fluid like this, we got a shot at it. So here we go. We're going to come out to our bottom cut. And then we see this little black dot right there. That is the plantaris tendon. A small little tendon. And we're going to follow that on up now. So there it is. We're going to go up, up, up. It's coming obliquely from medial to lateral. Up, up, up. There's the tendon right there. Up, up, up. Here it's coming behind, hard to see next to the popliteal vessels. But right in here, we're going to keep on coming up. Here we're getting close to the muscular tendon junction. It looks like that's a tendon right there. We're going to come on up. And then here, between these two images, it looks like it makes a change in conformation. We're going to come on up. It looks kind of foggy. We've got an area of darkness here and an area of brightness around the margin. And here it looks a little bit bright. We're going to come on up. And right here especially, you see this foggy round area. This is a dark muscle, dark muscle here, much brighter. So this is a tear of the uh, plantaris muscle belly. And these are notoriously hard to see, again, because it blends with the lateral gastrocnemius muscle. But if, every time you see fluid dissecting down here into the calf, in this classic location, think about a plantaris muscle tear. Thank you very much.